another edition of Like Radio, but with more Atari. And on Fridays, we spend the night playing. Well, Holly plays Disney games. And so I Holly do. Plays Disney. Uh, we couldn't do it this Friday because she was sick, so we didn't get to do it then. Right. And then we were going to do it last night, but she didn't feel like it. And then, uh, you know, so we were back to Monday. We're doing it tonight, so we're all yes. way ahead. And I said, if you want this cha- channel to be successful, you got to make sure you, you show up. You did, and you exactly. Said, Just do one without me. Nobody wants to hear me. <laughs> I don't know so, about that. So today, <laughs> so today we're playing a game. Uh, this is for... Now, this game was released for several different systems. It was released for the Apple II computer, uh-huh. for the Commodore 64. Commodore 64, yeah. Uh, and this version that we're going to play is actually the DOS version of the game. Oh, okay. I will tell you, the graphics don't look as cool on the Ooh. DOS version, but I'm hoping the game will actually work. I've been having trouble getting to work on the Apple II version or the Commodore version. I can get it to start, but then when it wants me to do other stuff, it's really difficult. Gotcha. So this game is called Mickey Space Adventure, and if I recall correctly, it was um, it was designed and written by Roberta Williams. All right. Uh, oh, Roberto. Released R- Roberta. Re- Roberta. Released by Sierra Online in 1984. You all remember Sierra Online as being the prolific programmer of like computer card games and things in the late in the early 90s and uh, late 80s uh, it features Mickey and Pluto and it was 1984 that it was written so let's take a look at this very game that we're going to play and it's called Mickey's Space Adventure you ready? You ready? Adventures. I'm so ready uh, I can't wait now this is a text based game so you don't need a controller so you can put the controller down okay and we can just give this a go and see okay. what happens all right let's do it all right let me all i gotta do i believe is type in here mickey and it shall it shall uh hopefully hopefully it works let me turn down that music real quick we don't need that anymore okay that's down close that out and here we go also the window's a little smaller than the commodore version but just deal with it just deal with it why won't it type is it maybe one of those days? There we go. It already feels like it's one of those days, i got to be honest with you. I know. What? All right, I got it. That's all right. My bad. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. I all can't right. take it. So, Mickey Space Adventure, copyright 1986, the Walt Disney Company. Uh, designates and trademarks off Sierra license to Tandy Corporation. Press any key to continue. save games. All right, go ahead. Give it a go. Mickey and Pluto are walking down a country road, which is surrounded by green hills. What'd you say about that, Mickey? Well, it's a good question. That is indeed a good question. Let's see here. That's pretty crazy. All right. Suddenly, Mickey and Pluto see a flash of blinding light over the hill to the north. Uh oh. All right, here you got two options. You can either look or go, and the directions are road east, hills west, north. Okay, we're going to go north. Did you ever play a game like this, a text based game like this before? It's been a long, yeah, like once, I think. Okay. Mickey and Pluto gaze in amazement at a spaceship that has landed in the hills. Flashing lights circle around it and the door is open. So I can look, enter, go, run, east, west, spaceship away, and south. I'm going... I am going to go in the spaceship. Okay. That was the sound of a cat jumping on everything. Okay. Hold your cat. All right. I got it. Well, I couldn't get it to work because the cat chose east for you. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. 
All right. Mickey and Pluto are hiking through the hills. They see an unusually large oak tree. I'm going to climb up the tree. That's not an option. Climb hills southwest tree. Oh, tree. Okay. Mickey is lying on a... Mickey is lying on a limb in the huge oak tree and spies a bird nest on the limb. Okay. There is a piece of glowing crystal in the nest. Oh my. Okay. Um, I'm going to get the crystal. That sounds like exciting music. Mickey takes the glowing crystal. Climb, look, get, we, wait, nest, down, tree. I'm going to look down. Mickey sees Pluto looking up at him from the ground. Climb, look, get, west, down, tree. I'm going to say, look, wait, uh, get, nest. You're going to take the bird nest? Yeah, I am. I'm going to take the bird nest. It wouldn't be nice for me to take the bird's nest. I All right. You. I tried telling you. But I already climbed the tree. I'm going to climb down. Oh, climb down. Okay. Mickey and Pluto are hiking. Okay. Same one. You already saw that one. All right. Uh, go. Hills. Mickey's already in the hills. Okay. Go south. Oops, I chose west. I want to take it back. Okay. I want to take it back to spaceship. Mickey and Pluto gaze in amazement at a spaceship that has landed in the hills. Flashing lights circle around it, and the door is open. I'm going to enter the spaceship. <gasps> Mickey and Pluto are in the airlock of the spaceship. There is a button on the wall and a thermometer next to it. That's weird. Uh, you can press, read, go, where, or look. Spaceship North Earth gauge button. Look button. Oh, wait. Sorry. My, my fault. I, I went go button. Go button. <laughs> the button opens and closes the inner and outer doors. Okay, that's fun. Uh, read gauge. The temperature outside the spaceship is 20... Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit degrees. Okay. Um, I'm going to... You should put on the space suit. Okay. Yeah, go, go space suit. Wear space suit. This is no, there is no need for Mickey and Pluto to wear a spaceship on Earth. Okay. I'm going to... Press, press button. button. Yeah, press button. I was looking at my options. When Mickey presses the button, the inner door opens and the outer door closes. Did we do that? Ooh, no. We, uh, we didn't press the button. We oh. looked at the button. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So, go Earth. That's not going to be anything. The door is not open. So, how do I open the door? I don't know. Press gauge. You can't pr The thermometer doesn't do anything. Okay. Look north. It said there's nothing going on there. Hmm. Well, I don't... Th I think we did everything except for... Go north. Yeah, go north. Okay. <laughs> Mickey and Pluto are in an empty room inside the spaceship. There are four doors to choose from here. Oh, fun. Okay, go north. Mickey and Pluto have entered what looks like a sleeping area. There are bunk beds against the wall. There is a map of our solar system here. Look map. This, okay, look room. This is the sleeping area. Oh, I read the map. Okay. How, how did she get another bag to be jumping on? 
I don't Where'd know. you find it? Mercury, oh, one okay. orange, Venus, one blue. Earth, one orange, one blue. Those are the codes, okay? Uh, okay. Let's do... What do these codes mean? I don't know. No idea. Okay. Um, leave room. Okay. I'm going to go east. This room looks like a kitchen, but not like any kitchen Mickey's seen on Earth. I'm going to open the cabinet. Because why not? Mickey carefully opens the cabinet and peeks in. He sees something that looks like a muffin and is as hard as a rock. It must be some kind of food. I'm going to look room. This room, okay. I'm going to get food. Mickey reaches in the cabinet and eats some of the hard muffin. Mmm, not too bad, he thinks. Mickey, that was not a good idea. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, uh, leave room. Let's go west. The control room of the spaceship looks complicated. Mickey sees a switch, a throttle, a blue and orange button. Mickey would like to figure this out. Okay. So, he sees a blue and an orange button. Leave room. You're leaving again? Yeah. Go north. Look at the map. A read map. Okay, so we have an orange button and a blue button. So where do we want to go? Let's do Mars. Two orange, one blue. Two orange, one blue. Okay. So we're going to leave the room. And we're going to go west. Okay. And we're going to push orange... Okay, so we need what, orange again? Yes. And then blue. Hmm. Was it blue, blue, orange? No. Or was it orange, orange, blue? It was orange, orange, blue. Hmm. So maybe now flip the throttle? When Mickey flips the switch, the spaceship computer turns on. From the monitor, Mickey can read. Hello, Mickey Mouse and Pluto. I am number XL30 from the planet Oron. Oron is a planet in the Alpha Centauri star system? 75 Earth years ago, an interplanetary thief stole a memory crystal. It's our most prized object. Contained within this memory crystal are our memories of our history throughout the the crystal we on Oron have no past all is forgotten the thief broke the crystal into nine pieces these pieces can be put back together like a puzzle but the pieces can only be put back together in the correct order he placed the crystal pieces in your solar system Mickey one for each planet whoa this is intense yeah this is like a really long game yeah. <laughs> The thief is caught and imprisoned, but the crystals are still missing. The spaceship has been traveling for the last 75 years from Oron to reach forth. It is entirely computer controlled. Each crystal piece lets off a radar wave that the spaceship can follow in the correct order. The first crystal piece to be found on Earth, help, help us. Mickey, we need help to find the crystal pieces and to put the memory crystals back together. IXL30 will communicate with you sometimes to give you clues to the next crystal pieces and information about the planets you are traveling to. Good luck, Mickey and Pluto. We on Oron, thank you. 
Woo! Well, we have the one. Yeah, we do. We have the one. Congratulations, the crystal piece has been found. Yay, the next piece is to be found on a small, hot planet. What's Peter that? Yeah, yeah. That's Mercury. Mercury. Okay, so we need to figure out how to get to Mercury. Oh, boy. So we need to leave the room and go north to read the map. Okay. Yeah, so now we need to go north. Okay, and we need to read the map. And you said Mercury? Mm -hmm. So it's one orange. Okay. So, yep, and then go west. And it's one orange. Press orange. Mickey presses the orange button. So now... Flip switch, maybe? Is that how you do it? That's how I did it last time. I don't know. Maybe push throttle. Or pull throttle. Which one? I already did. Okay. Okay, so we know it's orange. Uh. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> you tried to figure out how to get the spaceship off the ground. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm a little confused here because we know we pressed the orange and now we just got to get the spaceship off the ground. I'm going to leave the room and come back. Try again. Okay. They did say this was for children. <laughs> Maybe now press orange? Hmm. Can you flip orange? Oh, he has to press it. Okay. Okay, push or pull it. Hmm, there we go. Oh, Biggie feels a gentle vibration in the spaceship. Then suddenly, the ship's shoots into the sky, and before it can blink, they are in space! Piggy's in space! Yay. Okay. So... Now press orange? Mickey feels a funny feeling in his stomach, and before he knows it, and the spaceship has landed on Mercury. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun because it's the closest it revolves around the sun fastest that means it has a very short year 
Only three Earth months long, it also rotates very slowly. One day is two Earth months long. The days are very hot and the nights very cold because there is no atmosphere to hold heat in. Okay, so now we're going to leave the room, maybe? How do we get back to the spaceship? Or, I mean, back to the... I don't know, the spacesuit? Spacesuit, yeah. Go south. South. We're going south. I already accidentally pressed east. Oh. We're getting another muffin. <laughs> okay. So now, where? Spacesuit. Oh, Mickey and Pluto both put on their spacesuits. They each have a full supply of air. Oh, they're so cute. Yep. Okay. Um. Go. Oh, go Mercury. Oh, we have to open the door somehow. Press button. Yeah. Uh. When Mickey presses the button, the inner door closes and the outer door opens. Go Mercury. Please insert disc to and press any key. Now this is where I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't, you know, I can just like. Oops. Well, I don't know what this do is. Yeah, I don't know either. Um. <laughs> you know what? This is a super fun game, though. Yeah. This is like super, super fun. Like if you that you might must have had to have had a lot of discs for this game but totally worth it i think well you want to call it halvesies here and we'll see if i can get it fixed we'll yeah, do part yeah. two later on yeah yeah absolutely all right well listen as always been great being here with you today wish you the very best day on wherever you may be i say good luck god bless and good day sir all right kevin